Yo, what's good everybody? Hector here, back again with another video for you guys. I would like to welcome everybody back to the channel, but if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified whenever I drop new content to the channel. So now that that's out the way, today we're going to be reviewing a Supreme item. Now, as a lot of you know, if you try to go on the Supreme website on a Thursday around 11 a.m. and try to cop from one of their drops, you know how difficult it is to actually hit successfully on something. For example, last week we had the long sleeve box logo shirt drop on Supreme and uh, you know, that thing that they, they, they sold out. They sold out in the snap of a finger and we were left with nothing but toothpaste. Yeah, we all went home with our little Supreme toothpaste. I really wanted that box logo. But nonetheless, you know, my teeth are gonna be sparkly clean, so it's all good. But now on to the most recent drop, where we had a bunch of cool stuff dropping, but the thing that everybody was most focused on was the Air Maxes. Now there's a green colorway and a pink colorway, and there's also a white colorway, but the white colorway did not drop at the same time as the green and the black. They'll be released at a different date. So you know we all gonna be waiting for those. I'm pretty sure we all gonna go for those because look at them, they just look so clean. But nonetheless, your boy did successfully hit on a pair. I did hit on the black pair. See right there, the box says Supreme. Got the Nike logo here. Got the Air Max Plus TN slash Supreme in a size 12. I was gonna go in 11 and a half, but I'm glad that I didn't do an 11 and a half because these fit just right. These fit perfect. Not too big, not too small, just right. Now, for some reason, I can't say the same for these. This is part of the Supernova collection. Um, this is actually an 11 and a half. I went true to size and um, somehow it, it still fits kind of big, which is odd. Like, I, I don't know if it's made differently, but these fit a little bit bigger. But anyway, yes, I did hit. So, uh, you know what? I've, I've done enough talking. Let's, let's get right into the sneaker because, like, I'm excited for these, man. And as you may notice, the box is one of those sliding boxes. So, you know, let's get to the unboxing. As always, you know I'm going to unbox these with y'all because I love unboxing sneakers with y'all, man. So, uh, right off the bat, you see the Nike and Supreme paper over here. But now on to the shoe. Jeez, look, oh my God, this thing is fire. It literally looks like pink flames. Air Max Supreme Edition? Uh, Supreme Edition? Uh, Nike Air Max with the Supreme collab. Here we have it, y'all. Now these shoes definitely stand out. Just like the green ones, the green ones definitely, oh man, I should, I'm so mad that those sold out quick. But yo, these definitely like, they're, they, they look so much better in person. They are so much better looking in person. Like, I was not expecting to like them as much as I do. So starting off with this side of the sneaker, you got the yellow swoosh mark, check, Nike check mark, whatever you want to call it, it's yellow. It's there. It stands out. Next, you got what I would like, like, I, I like calling this the cage, um, because, you know, like, the Yeezy 700s and shit like that, you know, they got the cage in them. So I'm going to call this the cage, because it's kind of like, it's kind of like almost the same thing. It just looks way, way cooler. So real quick, one thing that I didn't mention in the video that I literally just found out that once I seen it, I can't unsee it. So basically, the pattern is not just any regular pattern. The pattern spells out Supreme. S-U-P-R-E-M-E. -E. What? I don't know, I may be super late, I may not have noticed this earlier, but I can't unsee it. 
once I saw it, it like it, it's there. It sticks out now. <laughs> that's that's pretty awesome. It says Supreme, and it also says it on the other side, but it's spelled backwards. So I thought that was pretty cool. Starts off pink at the bottom and then transitions to like a like a darker pink or kind of like a red color. And then you got the inside of the material, which is like a, a black and it, it like transitions to red really nice. It literally looks like it was airbrushed. It literally looks like somebody took the time and just airbrushed it really, really nice. Like it's so so cool i can't i can't say this enough this sneaker is amazing now running through the entirety of this shoe it's like some kind of leather material um i want to say like some type of soft leather material you know going from the front all the way to the heel okay so it's synthetic leather it says it on the sticker here inside the shoe so uh all this leather running is like synthetic leather so it's not real leather but uh i don't know if y'all can see that but there's there's a sticker right there and you got your air units going from the front to the back as normal. Now moving to the front of the sneaker, on the toe it's like some kind of like a, a rubbery, plasticky material. I want to say it's like plastic material. Not the same material as the case because it does feel different. But um, yeah, it's kind of a plasticky feel. And then these silver lines running all the way through the sneaker through the tongue are reflective. So I thought that was a pretty cool touch too. I love reflective sneakers. So that was definitely a plus in my book. So here on the top of the tongue, you got the Supreme small like black box logo. And then another cool touch is on the lace tips. It does say world famous. Now this right here reminds me of like Jordan 3s or other Jordans that come with like the tag. I always love when sneakers come with stuff like this. Like it kind of just adds like a, like a cool factor to it. Like it makes you feel kind of exclusive. Now here on the inside, you got a red insole with the Supreme logo and the Nike Air logo as well. And then we got the bottom of the shoe, black and red, nothing different here, nothing special. So my initial thoughts before purchasing this sneaker and looking at it in pictures, I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as I do like seeing it in person. Um, so, you know, the pictures don't do it justice. You gotta have this sneaker in hand to appreciate its beauty. Now, as I said before, we still got the white pair that's supposed to be dropped, and I'm very excited for those. I wanna try and get those in hand as well. I know it's gonna be super, super impossible, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway, and hopefully have a review for you guys. All right, guys, so we've basically reached a part of the video where I have nothing more to say about this sneaker. Um, if you do have anything else to say, please, Drop your opinions down in the comments below. Let me know if you like this sneaker. Let me know if you dislike this sneaker. Are you gonna be going for the white one? Let me know in the comments. But anyway, you guys already know what time it is. Let's hit it with some B-roll. So there you guys have it. There was my quick review on these Air Max Plus Supreme collabs. These are amazing. If you guys made it this far and you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and drop a like because a like goes a long way and it helps the channel out. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified whenever I drop new content to the channel. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you to the people who show love to the channel, who always show support, who like my videos and comment and all that stuff. Y'all the greatest. Y'all don't know how much that means to me, but it definitely means a lot. So thank you guys. But I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video.